guys read the title right. We are going to go pick up my new car right now, but it's not just any car. It is the Ford Mach-E Mustang, so all electric Mustang. Ford actually called me a couple weeks ago. They were like, hey, we got this new car that we want to lend you for a couple weeks for you to try out, drive around, make some content with. I was like, hey, I'll take any car, send it my way and make some content with it. So we're headed to the race shop right now to actually see it for the first time. I've seen the Mach-E 1400 that Von Gittins built, but that's a race car, a little bit different. This is actually like a street car that you drive around day to day. So I'm super excited to see it. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait. Ah. wait. Ah. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, what color is it? Uh, white. White? All right, I like white. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. You liar! <laughs> Shoot! Whoa! Spaceship. <laughs> this thing's sick. How do you open the doors? Do you pull it? Oh. Absolute. <laughs> Dude, look at the interior. It's so nice. I don't know if Haley's gonna work well with the white car <laughs> interior. <laughs> Good thing they only gave it to me for two weeks. If I'd have this interior probably dirty. <laughs> Not the cleanest person. It's like a giant iPad. <laughs> this is cool, look at all the knobs. How do you, do you just press the brake like any other car? Oh. How much percent do we have of battery? Vehicle is on. 69% battery. <laughs> In the parking lot of the shop. Oh, it takes <laughs> off cool. This thing is sick. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a little timeline. So it's actually Friday. Tomorrow is her race down in Atlanta. Wait, should we drive it to Atlanta? I didn't even think about that. That's you took the words out of my mouth. So before we head to Atlanta, I want to make sure I know how to charge this thing. So we just found a charging station. We're gonna figure out how to plug it in. Whoa, what's this? New is merch, this? new merch. You can't show them just yet. Is this a sneak preview? New merch drop coming Wednesday. Shh. Out the Give us a fit check. Oh, oh, spicy. The, the black black camo. Spicy. Dropping Wednesday. So we're gonna sit here and wait a little bit while it's charging to like guess how much it's gonna charge in 10 minutes so we have an idea while driving to Atlanta. So in the meantime, while we're waiting here, we're gonna roll back to some footage of what happened the other day. Wait night. for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's gonna be a while till we hit a million now. Next excitement is gonna be bang. You, you know what this means? We get the plaque! We get the plaque! I forgot we get the plaque! We get the plaque! That's going right there. The plaque's going there. We got the TikTok thing there. The whiteboard. The plaque's going there. The moment of truth. Let's see how much percent we got. Okay, so we gained about 40 miles right there, just charging it for 10 minutes. So I think we're gonna be okay to go to Atlanta. That's plenty good. Like oh, we yeah. can park it, go eat, yeah. go shopping in the Tantra. Go shopping. <laughs> You had a fit change here. I did. Rocking the sea boys. I got the full duo, the sweatpants and the hoodie. So here's the situation right now. We have 128 miles range on the mach -E and the closest charge station, well actually there's other charge stations, but the one we're scheduled to go to right now is 110 miles away. So I really cannot be heavy on the gas pedal, which I am definitely a heavy gas pedal girl. Is it considered a gas pedal if it's an electric car? I never thought about that. Would it be considered a gas pedal? Cause like the reason it's a gas pedal in a car is because you get on it and it, it you're using gas. Mm -hmm. The gas is creating the combustion inside the engine, but since there's no engine, is it considered gas? I don't think it'd be considered a gas pedal. Have you ever gone to like pole position or K1? And whenever you look at the pedals, they got they're the labeled, go pedal. it's the go, the go pedal. pedal. <laughs> so we're gonna call this the go pedal and the stop pedal. <laughs> Driving to Atlanta, filming a vlog. DM me some questions to ask Kaylee. This is from Fisher41. He says, if you're stuck on an island and have three things to bring, what would they be and why? A lighter to start a fire. 
It's like I want to be warm. What if it's cold on the island? So I need a lighter. Mascara. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That one was a joke. A towel. And my phone, because I love TikTok. <laughs> my phone, a towel, and a lighter. What would you bring? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Your survival skills are terrible. You have to bring some sort of weapon to be able to get food, whether it's a fishing rod to get the fish or whatever it is. Oh yeah, fishing rod would have been a good one. <laughs> so what I would bring, some sort of weapon. Number two is a magnifying glass. Why a magnifying glass? Okay, so if you bring a lighter, the juice in the oh. lighter is gonna run out. You can use this, the magnifying glass with the sun and point it and start to burn a leaf and that leaf can start a fire on a stick. All right guys, so Haley Deegan's survival skills are done. They're, they're absolutely terrible. Hey, okay, question number two comes from Haley's number one fan. Number one. What do you like to do in your free time? Probably work out. I mean like, we don't really have free time ever. I feel like we're up super late and we get up early because we're constantly going for racing, for vlogging, everything. It's so, like, I like to get time to work out and cook. We're gonna go with this one. Who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> Who's my celebrity crush? Me and you have had this conversation before. Probably Liam Hemsworth. He's a good looking guy. You could not look at him and tell me he's not a good looking guy. If I knew who he was, I would be Liam able to tell look you. Him up on your Who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for this. Definitely got to go with Addison Ray. She's like 16. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> This one comes from uh, Taylor. She is an active YouTube subscriber to us. She said, what's your favorite collab you have done so far? By the way, I love you guys a lot. Thank you very much. I would say we haven't done very many collabs. I think, what, we're three collabs into our channel? We've done 17 videos in like three collabs. I'd have to say my favorite one. Though. Like, I think the most fun I had from what we were doing, because it's what I do, like Can-Ams and everything, would have to be the Sea Boys. It'd be a close second, like close first to second with Brayden. I feel like the whole trip was just fun. Like it was just, it was our, our vibe of what we do. So yeah, we we showed up in the middle of Minnesota, and Sea Boys lived three hours, so we decided to get a hotel. But the hotel wasn't that great, so we just slept in the car. It wasn't just not that great. It was like disgusting. <laughs> it was like, and I'm not one to complain about hotels and everything. Like, oh, honestly, like I'll sleep anywhere. But this hotel, like, I was scared to like put my feet on the bathroom floor. So we drive, I drive three and a half hours through the night, ended up going to where the Sea Boys is at. We got, we slept in a Love's gas station in the car. I'm actually gonna roll back to some of that footage, like right now, because I have it all from my phone and it was pretty funny. Our, sh our place that we got is so nasty on our Sea Boys trip that we got literal shirts over the pillows. Alright, so it is 2.20, no, 3.21 in the morning, so we left out of there like 2 o'clock-ish, and uh, we're going to get there about 5. No sleep, man. Grinding. Chipotle or Chick-fil-A, what do you want? Definitely Chipotle. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Not a huge fan it's of the ten. beans. Oh, I got black beans. 10 out of 10. Look how green mine is. Yours <laughs> looks disgusting. It's guacamole. Yours looks like a, a salad bowl. It does have lettuce. Mine's a actual bowl. We're back ripping. Next stop, Atlanta. We just made it to the hotel here in Atlanta. We got our nice mach -E all hooked up, charging overnight. So we're gonna come back in the morning, it's gonna be fully charged. We're gonna have a good day ahead of us of racing, hopefully. So thank you guys for coming along with me and Chase's journey driving across a couple states. So be sure you guys comment, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and check out shophaleydegan.com. That's right guys, you read the title. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting. All right, so we were going on the. How many you have? Uh, um, our system. All right, so we are. Oh, I. Hope.